What's up guys, you got Richie here. Um, I am doing a short video for the heroes. Uh, I ha keep having some comments asking me to actually show what the two heroes abilities are. So I figured I would make a quick one. All right, we'll start off with Novia. Uh, also, as you increase their level, their percentage goes up. And what I mean by that is this quick construction, I believe when she is a lower level, it's actually about 8 or 10%. And then as she becomes leveled up, the attributes go up as you unlock the other. Now, these are the, the four for her. It's increased building speed by 15%, which is pretty good. Um, the gathering speed by 12, which is great for farming. The, oh, I'm sorry, I just got a message the increased researching speed by 11%, and then the increased training speed by 10% once you reach max. Now that is really, really good, especially if you're training higher level troops, like nine and 10. It made a huge difference for uh, for me. It, I think, dropped almost an hour off of training 2,000 troops. So it, it's worth it to push her to, to 10. Now, to unlock Ryan, you need to at least get Novia to level six. Now Ryan's attributes are more my 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 flavor. Uh, it starts off with increased infantry defense by 12%. I believe it starts at 8%. Like I said, as they become leveled up, or as you unlock more items, they become leveled up. Now it costs me uh, about one billion resources to max Ryan out, so it's not an easy feat. Um, you get to the second level, increased infantry attack by 10%. Now that is, that's still great, but the thing is, is there's a, once you unlock prestige five, which I am, is the problem, the infantry turn more to meat shields rather than attack. And what I mean by that is their ability unlocked at P5 is to create a wall and they absorb the damage. So if I send a march with a few berserkers, those berserkers are actually going to sacrifice themselves to save the other troops. So one berserker killed prevents, I believe, it's up to six other infantry's death. So that's huge. Um, usually I don't get many kills because I don't send many, but if in your layer, the way you lay your skills, that can be huge. Now this is the big one. Increase the defense of all of your soldiers by 5%. Now that's fantastic. Additionally, when you first unlock this, I believe it's only 3%. And as he levels up, it goes to 4 and then 5. And then Army Assault, which is the final one, increase the attack of all of the soldiers by 5%. Now this made a huge, huge difference in the amount of kills versus the amount of losses I got in my skill shots and my normal attacks. If you have the resources or the, the, the ability, I would really recommend that you do that. Now, another thing that I did was I spent some iron, here let me go back to them, I spent some iron to, to upgrade them and I really shouldn't have. The, uh, the wood and the food is by far the best idea, especially if you're a spender because a lot of the packs have an exuberant amount of wood and food. So that, that would really um, benefit you. So, because the iron and mithril at higher levels is just, it's hell to get. Um, yeah, so that's, that's the details on the heroes. Uh, I hope that they stick around, especially because I spent so much resources to get them up. It looks like they are, which is great news. But uh, yeah, I did the video just to just to put it out there and have some of my subscribers and viewers uh, actually see what their abilities are and they're 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 really worth it if you have the resources I'm not gonna say completely empty out your wood completely empty out your food just to upgrade them when you're trying to struggle to save resources for other upgrades um, yeah so if you liked it hit the like button if you want to keep seeing more, hit the subscribe. Now, I did record a skill shot earlier. Uh, I'll be uploading that later on tonight. Hope you enjoy that. Later, guys.